And some of us are happy, some less happy. How you feel can speak volumes about your relationship with work, career, your coworkers. In today's Reclaim Your Career, we're taking on the Sunday slump. Paula Calajuri is the author of Get a Life, Not a Job, and she joins us from New York to explain. So, Paula, we, we've all been there, we've had a great weekend, we've relaxed, we've hung out with friends. What, how does this set the tone for what we can expect come Monday? Well, it's an interesting issue, right? It's that contrast. We had a great weekend, like you said, family, friends. We were able to set our own hours, do what we wanted to do. And then Monday comes. And it's really that contrast that affects most people. And it affects, it affects 80% of Americans who are working. So a lot of people feel the Sunday slump. So what is the best thing to do? You really have to self, you really have to take a look at how you're feeling. And, and do you, what do you know, do, do you basically acknowledge, you know, I'm. God, I just hate having to get ready for the next day. You have to assess your physical and emotional well-being, right? You do, but it's also important to realize that the Sunday slump happens among people who even like their jobs. So it's not just that dread of, of going to a job that you dislike, but it's also the issue of, of you know, being that into that contrast, that idea of having that freedom on the weekend and having to deal with actually going to work and, and having your days controlled during the week. So the biggest thing to consider is the symptoms, you know, how can we make ourselves happier on Sunday evenings, but also the causes. So, and it's interesting because again, there, there are two different things. And a lot of people, they like their jobs, they like their coworkers, they like going to work. But if you are starting to feel a little bit sort of out of sorts come Sunday, what should you be doing? How do you identify maybe what is causing that? Is it something more than just, well, I gotta go back to the grind? It, it may be, and, and it really depends, Deb, on, on what the feeling is. If it's a feeling of dread or anxiety, it may be having to do with a job that you just dislike. If it has more to do with just feeling the blahs, maybe a little bit of a slump, it probably has more to do with that loss of freedom. So good thing to focus on Sunday evening. Fill your Sunday evenings, plan your Sunday evenings to do something enjoyable. Uh, dinner with friends, go out to a movie, whatever you really enjoy. Um, but also plan for things during the week that you can look forward to. Basically what we're trying to do is reduce the contrast between the fun you had on the weekend and some enjoyable things you can plan to do during the week. So real important, try to reduce that contrast. If it's a bigger issue with a, a job you just dislike, that's a whole other conversation about maybe eventually thinking about switching your situation or maybe switching your job. So really instead of seeing the weekends as white and the weeks as gray or black really, there should be a little bit more gray so that you're incorporating it so, so that the week feels a little bit more like the weekend. Right. There's usually three things that people feel the loss of the most. Contact with family and friends. They spend more time doing that on the weekends. Freedom to control their time. They spend a lot more, obviously, time doing that on the weekends. And the ability to do the things they love, like sports and hobbies. So the idea is just try to, try to do a few more things like that, maybe in your non-work hours during the week. And actually, it helps remove that contrast between the weekend and the week. It's really so very important, especially if you like your job. All right, Paula Calajuri, thank you so much. And of course, probably getting a really good night's sleep on a Sunday is a very good way to enter the work week. Thank you so much. We'll check in with you. Take care. My, my pleasure. Well, the threat of tornado.